Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. Today's crypto update will continue our urge to earn money online. Even if Satoshis are an increment of Bitcoin, I would still hodl millions of them because they are a direct descendant of Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been proven to be limitless so far, and Satoshi Coin can only follow. So let's get into the day new play to earn, so we can begin to earn crypto. We are living in bad times and should hold our liquid assets as close as possible. Crypto is too volatile for the average Joe. And purchasing in a macro-scale bear market is not too smart. Here we have Saratobi. Let's dive in. This play-to-earn masterpiece has been around for ages. It's probably one of the first play-to-earn games that didn't tank. Saratobi was developed by Mandel Duck to the form it is in now. Saratobi is a two-in-one, and by that I mean there is two different games in one. To be completely honest and upfront, I'm probably the worst at the swing things, so leave some jokes in the comments. Back to the mobile game's main screen, let me go ahead and explain the functions. The top left of the screen of the audio which I left muted for the sake of the video. To the top right you can see a gear there which is the settings menu which we will get into a little bit more later in the video. On the bottom you see two different icons, one that reads flyby, which is to the left of the one that reads swing thing. These two are the actual games that you can play to earn Bitcoin, which we will elaborate more on flyby because like I said earlier, I suck at swing thing and honestly never made it past three swings, which you will understand what that means later on in the video. Now if anyone has a video explaining swing things a little bit better than what I can, because I'm literally doing the bare minimum on that mobile game. Please post the video or share it somewhere where I could see it so I can promote the hell out of it and maybe learn how to play. Moving on to the actual game menu screen. This is the actual Saratobi gameplay screen menu. As you can see to the left there are five icons you can choose from the first one reading reward, the second skins, the third reading power-ups, the fourth from the top is the bananas, and the last one will be to replay the level. Let's dive into what each one of these icons do and how they are a part of the game. The first tab we will deep dive into will be the rewards tab. Once you press the rewards tab, it should bring you to this screen on your mobile device. As you can see, there are two types of coins that can be collected. The silver Bitcoin can will show as coin when collected, and the gold one will show as gold when collected. Press the small tip button or large tip button and the funds will be sent automatically to your ZBD wallet also. This game is one of the only games you can use different wallets to receive sats. As you can see on the top right of the screen is where you connect your wallet to receive the Bitcoin you collected in the game. On the bottom it reads jackpot available if you're lucky you'll win 1000 satoshis as when you withdraw, which is self-explanatory. Back to the main menu, once you are there press the skins tab to enter and see the different skins Saratobi provides. In the skins menu you can see there are 7 different skins, the first one which is the original Saratobi monkey, which is free. The second one looks like he has a costume for $1.99. The next one is a ninja for $1.99 also. The fourth skin is a green gecko Saratobi. The fifth is Saratobi with the hat, and so on. Going back to the main menu, we will follow that up with the power-ups tab. These power-ups can be used to give you an advantage from time to time. In the power-ups menu, you will see six icons. The banana which costs 50 bananas, a spring that costs 60 bananas, a bar sized kite worth 120 bananas, the rocket is 200, the bomb is also 200, and a potion worth 300. 
Take a look on the bottom of the screen. It reads, tap which power-ups you want to equip for the next game, then press on to continue. All of the power-ups can be used individually, or you can make a concoction of power-ups for optimal advantage against the sporadically placed bananas. I'm pretty sure you're confused, but stay tuned, it will always be overstood before the video ends. Each power-up has its own effect, which you will actually get to see live as I will be showcasing my Saratobi skills. Back to the menu where you can see the tab bananas. Bananas allow you to buy power-ups. So let's say you want to boost your bananas count, you can purchase them here in fiat currency in increments of 100, 500, and 1,000 bananas. All the prices are located just below the amount of bananas that can be acquired for that package. Moving on to the trophy on the menu screen, this trophy allows you to view the leadership boards and stats for the Saratobi network. There are different categories of stats and can be entertaining to see from time to time as you progress. Now that we've made our way back to the menu, let's get to the play tab and check out the actual gameplay. It might not look like much, but my god it's addicting. Here I will explain about what are the goals and how to collect the rewards. In Saratobi, you will start by hanging from a tree on a vine. As you tap the screen, Saratobi will begin to swing. Soon as you feel you have enough velocity, you swipe right and Saratobi will let go. This will thrust Saratobi into a forward motion through the air where there will be bananas you will need to collect before you fall. Same as with the Bitcoin coins, it rewards. They will be scattered through the air also. To collect them, Saratobi must be launched into the air and through the floating coins or bananas before hitting the ground. In this video, you will see Saratobi collect a silver coin and get to see exactly how many Satoshi you will receive for silver coins. On to the next gameplay clip, you will see the power-ups being utilized. First, we have the spring. After launching Saratobi into the air, you will see the icons on the bottom left. Click the spring at the peak of the launch from the vine to optimize its power. Once the spring is selected in the air, Saratobi will automatically have a spring barrier around him which will cause him to bounce when making contact with the ground and collect more rewards. In this clip we collect a gold coin and now you will be able to see the amount of Satoshi you will receive from a gold coin. Wow 30 Satoshi! Moving on quick to the next clip. Start Saratobi in the air. When Saratobi begins to descend, press the banana icon. As soon as Saratobi makes contact with the ground swipe left to watch him surf the bananas a little further. Next power up is the bomb icon, which is one of my least favorite, but in this clip I actually did it right. Once descending from your peak launch, press the bomb icon on the bottom left second icon from the right. Wait until you're low enough to be surrounded by rewards and tap Saratobi to release the power of the bomb. You will see Saratobi explode further into the direction you were heading. Onto the bar size kite, this you will want to activate at the top of the cloud of rewards. In this clip, I did it completely wrong and missed dozens of prizes. I launched my Saratobi way too high up and pressed the icon, which made me glide over most of the rewards. Now with the last two icons, I will teach you a strategy of mine that works for me every time, but it costs about 500 bananas to use this strategy. After launching Saratobi into the sky, when you get to the top of the level, you're going to want to press your potion icon, which will make you grow to about 50 times the size of when you started. Then you're going to want to hit the rocket icon and swipe left. Now your Saratobi is ginormous and riding a rocket ship, collecting a majority of the rewards. Also, I would like to state that once you collect a coin, the rest of the gold and silver Bitcoin will vanish. So I go for the coins first, then go for bananas on my way down. I would also like to elaborate on a few key elements I was not able to show you, only because I have already passed these points in the game. 
In the trophy icon on the menu, you will need to provide a name for your ranking. This is a more formal way of keeping track of where you are. The second issue I had showing you that when you start the game Saratobi from the beginning, there will be letters scattered throughout the rewards. These letters spell out Saratobi. Collecting these letters will provide you with a boost of 5,000 bananas and a few free power-ups. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Thank you for watching if you made it all the way through. Stay tuned, we are an active admin. Please like, comment, subscribe, and never be afraid to voice your opinion. Tell us in the comments what you think, and give us some suggestions on what kind of content you'd like us to deep dive into. Until next time, good day, good night, and goodbye.